Season two, season two is all about secrets. Within the Big Brother house, the secrets live everywhere, every, everywhere, even in the walls. And get ready, Canada, because the biggest secret of all involves you. Involves you. 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 This season, Big Brother is granting you powers like you've never before. Are you ready to play? Are you ready to play? Big Brother Canada. Big Brother Canada. Our season of secrets starts right now. More secrets, more twists, and it all starts right here tonight. We scoured the country looking for some of the biggest personalities out there, and we found them. Here are the first five. Hi, my name is Sabrina. I'm from Montreal. I'm 25 years old, and I'm a hairdresser and a makeup artist. Are you ready for this? Hey, I'm Kenny Brain. I'm 25. I'm from Grand Falls, Newfoundland, and I'm a male model. I look like I grew up in the woods, and I get that a lot. You know, you look like a lumberjack. But what Canada doesn't know is that I'm gay. Self-proclaimed beer geek. My biggest strength will be my people skills. Nice work. Hi, my name's Arlie Spann. I'm 25 years old from Stovall, Ontario, and my occupation right now is training for Big Brother full-time. I want the fans to respect me and to just crave seeing more of me. My name is Sarah Bess Miller. I'm 32 years old, and I'm a mother of two. Be a typical mom in the way of loving my kids and giving them what they need. But at the same time, I am young. Please welcome the first five house guests for season two of Big Brother Canada. But you may now enter the house. First five. Oh, very nice, very good-looking looking for it. Very nice. First five. First five. First five. First five. So why don't we meet the next four? I'm 24 years old. I come from uh, Porters Lake, Nova Scotia, and I'm a personal trainer. In this cruel, sick world, if you're good looking, you get away with a lot of stuff. And I can do that. My name's Anik Jerva. I'm 28 years old. I'm from Hanmer, Ontario, and I'm a Reiki master. My philosophy in life is fly. First, love yourself. Let's all fly together. My name is Aiko Wong, I'm 29 years old, I'm from Thornhill, Ontario, and I'm a hairstylist. I was a teen. When I was 17, I got pregnant, and my mom threw me out. Uh, John Party, uh, 23 years old, I'm currently a student, and living here in Clarenville, Newfoundland. I describe myself. If I gotta go through you to get to where I need to go, then I'm gonna do it. Come back and dress room, and I would not be that way at all. <laughs> For me, in a room where everyone's laughing, that's where I'm more comfortable. The next four house guests for Big Brother Canada. And you may now enter the house. So, Big Brother Canada. This is a nice, this is a nice pad, man. Big Brother Canada house guests are competing for a $100,000 cash prize, a $25,000 home shopping spree at the Brick, and a $10,000 trip of a lifetime, courtesy of our friends at Twistos. Are you ready to meet the rest? Let's say hello to them now. Hey, Canada. Sparks are going to fly when I enter the Big Brother house. My name is Adele. I'm from the city of champions, Edmonton, Alberta. I'm a boilermaker by trade. I weld, I grind. <laughs> I'm a man of the people. <laughs> My religion means the world to me. In a scale of 1 to 10, it's a 10 hands down. My name is Netta Kalantar. I'm 22 years old from Vancouver, and I am a fashion stylist. My strategy is to actually be very nice, even though people annoy me. I'm Rochelle. I'm 20 years old, and I'm a psychology student. I am very athletic. I do yoga almost every day. Rita. One kind of girl I hate is really, like, ditzy blonde girl. It drives me nuts. Ah, Mel's here? Yay! Yeah. Okay. I'm Heather. I'm 23 years old. I work at a modeling talent agency, and I'm also a model as well. Mm -hmm. I am bubbly and happy and friendly. House. Hi, my name is Paul Jackson. I am 43 years young, and I'm a consultant as well as a motivational speaker. You may now enter the house. <laughs> Let's not waste any more time. We're about to find out who will be the first HOH of the season. I can tell that people are agitated, but I can tell that people just don't want to give up. So this is my time to strike. Listen, listen, I have a suggestion. Okay. If... I'm head of household. Everybody that's up here will not be put on the board. There you go. That's my word. I'm kind of scared, though. 
And my first thought is, this is bull. I don't trust this guy for a second. Hands up, we're good. I'm terrified right now. I'll take it. Hands up, we're good. Hands up, we're good. It was a relief to me. It was, I guess, a safe for a week and no blood on my hands and hopefully just rolling into week two. Big PJ! Paul, congratulations. You are the very first head of household <laughs> of the season. I don't trust Paul at all. I don't trust a single person in this game fully. I don't think I'll ever trust a single person fully in this game. Here it is. The first Twistos twist. Canada. This season, you will have more influence and power in the house than ever before. Right now, there are 14 guests inside, but one more will be joining them, and you get to decide who it is. For the next week, three possible house guests will live in a secret room within the house. You'll be able to get to know them and watch their every move 24-7 at bigbrothercanada.ca. That's also where you'll be able to cast your vote for who you want to be the final house guest. It's all up to you, Canada. So let's meet the potential new house guests right now. Raise yourself. It's Scott Bobs, 36 years old. Hometown is St. John, New Brunswick. And I'm a medical secretary, drag queen diva. My name's Nathan, Nate the Great Sandry. I'm from Burnaby, British Columbia. I'm 23 years old, and I'm a sheet metal fabricator. My name's Allison White. I'm 25 years old. I live in St. John's, Newfoundland, and I'm a registered nurse. I work in psychiatry, so I feel like that's super transferable into Big Brother. Talk. Your votes will determine who will be the last guest to enter the Big Brother house this season. The three of them will move into a secret, soundproof room within the house tomorrow night. For one full week, they will eat and sleep in that one lone room as they buy for your votes. I definitely don't want my getting off ice third to screw me over later on in the game. I think I'm safe. I think people really like me, and I think I think I'm good. Hey, Bears? No, thanks. Okay. Thank you. And Nick has a very different kind of personality. It's the first I've ever heard of all like the like the zen touchy and the like spirit fingers and whatever is going on there and i think maybe she might be throwing in people's faces a little bit too much i don't think that's helping her game any strong strong right out of the floodgates it's like this girl's hopping around this girl's acting like a goof like tone that down you're scaring me you look like you're on crack at a rave party i don't trust her <laughs> Today is our first nomination ceremony. I'd like to say that I'm excited, but I'm completely stressed out. <laughs> As the head of household, it is my responsibility to nominate two people for eviction. The smartest decision for me is to choose two people that got off the ice block first. I've already made the deal, and I have six people to choose from. I like Sarah. I find that we have a bit of a bond there when it comes to being parents, but she's a little emotional and I don't know if I can trust that she's really going to keep it together. I could easily see myself putting Anik up on the block because let's face it, she came off first, but I don't necessarily think of Anik as an actual threat for my game. Andrew did a superb job by being a jerk on the first night. It's not gonna be that hard for me to nominate Andrew. I've nominated you, Andrew, and you and Nick for eviction. This nomination ceremony is now complete. All right, so will a Nick or Andrew be able to save their skin by winning POV? Let's find out. I'm just so relieved, so excited. This feels unreal. Andrew, you win the power of veto. So sorry, I'm done. Even if you don't agree with something when you're in this house, you have to play the game. And I don't think that Ica is willing to do that. I've decided to use the power of veto on myself. I've decided to choose Ica as the replacement nominee. 
Paul has no idea the wrath of I got. He has no idea. It's now time for the live voting to begin. So by a vote of 11-0. Anik, you are the first to be evicted from the Big Brother Canada House. Backstage right now are the three secret room house guests. They can't hear me. They have no idea what I'm about to drop on them. Okay, so are you ready to meet them? Are you? Yeah. Uh, you've been cut off from the outside world for a few weeks now. Um, do you have any idea what Big Brother has in store for you? No. Not a clue. Zilcho. Nothing. Nothing. No? no? But you're, are you game, though? So game. Of course. Absolutely. Hey, wait. Uh, yeah. Go. <laughs> well, uh, um, let, let me, me think about it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm game. Let me, uh, let me fill you in. You three are our secret room house guests. Oh. What? I know. For I'm the liking next, this. <laughs> for the next week, you'll all be living together in one room. It's a top secret room. <laughs> all right. <laughs> None of the other house guests will know that you exist. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> oh God, I have but talk. but but, oh. and no one here knows this part. Thanks to all of our cameras, you'll be able to keep a constant eye on them. <sighs> Yes. Are you... That's awesome. <laughs> that's, a, that's a twist, right? Uh, right, right. But of course, Big Brother doesn't want to make it too easy on you. You can't hear them, okay? Fair but enough. Please, all right. But you can watch them. So, more? <clears throat> oh, there's always more. After the one week, only one of you will be making the move into the house, and two of you will be going home. Just got real, right? Yep. Yep. Real. <laughs> Canada will be deciding which of you goes into the house and the other two that are going home, okay? House guests Allison, Nate, and Scott are about to enter their top secret room. Where is it? Allison, what? Nate, and Scott, wow. you may now take off your blindfold. Oh my God. Dun, dun, dun. Whoa. Welcome to your secret home for the next week. All right, all right. Take a look. Look around. Oh, this looks pretty killer. Oh my Banana. god. Oh my god. Wow. I can still hear. I can still hear. I can still hear. I am sad that Nick's gone, but I'm very happy my girl Ike is here to dance with and party with, and she's my girl. So I'm definitely glad she's still here. Oh, hey. How are you, love bug? Listen, anything can happen in this game. But right now, as it stands, Andrew cannot win HOH. So I see the gold potato once, I go past it. I see it again, I go past it. I'm thinking, Andrew, why aren't you finding the golden potato? I can only pass it so many times before it becomes obvious what I'm doing. I'm like a chicken with my head cut off. I have no idea where this potato is, and I'm running around in circles. I'm feeling absolutely stoked to be head of household this week. My game plan going in was make it past the first week and then win everything else that I can. I'm gonna dominate this game. If that was at the end of the game, I would have crushed that competition, hands down. But since it's so early, I had to fake it. The girls are fanning me, pouring water on my head. Oh. I'm just trying the hardest I can to tear up and to breathe so heavy. Good job, girls. When talk to you for a second? Okay. okay. So I'm in the bathroom getting ready for bed and I see Rochelle and I pull her aside simply because I really want to get her on my side even though I don't like her. You and I never really get to talk. I know. I know and I feel like we don't. We got off to like a bad start. Like, yeah. You feel, I feel like you don't like me. Like it's not that I don't like you I just feel like we just clash a little bit sometimes mm -hmm. just because our personalities are a lot similar. Mm -hmm. But I don't want that. Like I want I don't to want be able to be friends. I actually like you. Okay, good. Cool. Yeah. I'm glad we both feel the same way. I don't trust her at all, and she's talking lots of smack about me, and I know that, so I don't really want to sit beside her. But I will put on a smile. And I also secured your and I spot for next week with Andrew. Heather's telling me that she secured my spot with Andrew, but I think that I've secured my own spot, and I don't trust her for one second. And I kind of did it as, like, 
a step to try to get to know you better. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you said something. Okay, good. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I think she took it really well. And I feel absolutely complete for the day. I talked to who I needed to talk to. I smoothed over things with Rochelle. Right. I go to bed and sleep nice and peacefully. What does she want? What does she want? She's like, like we never got to know each other and we're like the same person. She goes, I secured your spot with Andrew for next week. So you're saying, I'm like, yeah, you, I'm sure you did. Oh my God. Like, what the f with this girl? She, she, she's not dumb. She's trying to work you. Yeah, but she's dumb because she's not doing it very well. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. That's actually pretty brutal, that room is. Being HOH this week and having the HOH room to myself has really come in handy. I've been able to have some uh, private meetings with my first five alliance. This is the thing, is I'm not voicing a connection between you and Sabrina and us. So the first five alliance that we have is the first five people that walked into the Big Brother house. So that includes myself, Kenny, Sarah, Sabrina, and Arlie. I discussed with them for the first time all together uh, what my plan is going into this nomination process. In my opinion, Paul's going to go home this week. That's what I'm going to put him up. I'm just trying to figure out now who I put up to the second. The first five has figured out that Paul has been trying to make alliances with everyone. Just... He's sexist, he's freaking racist, he's, he makes comments that are so inappropriate. You turn, you get a lot more urban really quick. Huh? You get a lot more urban really quick. The other day, Andrew did say that I was acting a little bit urban. You were like, your speech, you're, you like got more black in your speech, like right away when you're speaking to Orissa. It was like, you know what I'm saying? It was more like, sassy. I'm, trying, you know, I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying, you know what I mean? Like, you know, more sassy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I didn't take it offensively. I didn't think it was a racist comment at all. But in two weeks, they might be like massive threats. So you need to try to anticipate that in the future. That's why I'm worried about Kyle. I mentioned Kyle's name because he's a physical threat. He's on the same build for endurance or strength that Andrew would be. I'm close with Andrew. I'm okay with him being on that level. But we have someone like Kyle who has rocks rolling around in his head. I don't know where he's at. He's a wild card. I want him. As the head of household, it is my responsibility to nominate two people for eviction. Hey, everyone. It's time for the nomination ceremony. That's a surprise. I have nominated you, Paul and you, Netta, for eviction. The reason I have nominated you, Netta, is that I feel like you're a strong social player and that your pull in the house could affect me later in my game. The reason I have nominated you, Paul, is that you are a hypocrite. Everything that you said from the beginning of the game, how you would play it, you've gone against. On top of that, you said slanderous things about my character, which could affect the opinion of the people in this house, as well as my family and the people in Canada. Guys, don't go anywhere. I got something to say. That is the most sexist, racist person I've ever met. Oh no, my seriously, God. dude. So you cannot freaking pull me no. out like that and call me that what I'm what I'm not being myself. Oh, That's insane. Just it, it hurts me when somebody calls me a hypocrite on national television. You 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 what did you just call him? That's Grow up, dude. And right now, I will become the bad guy. Because nobody's gonna take me to the final two if I am the nice guy. Hey, babe. I don't get it. No, this is the thing. That's why I'm explaining it right now, okay? You're so safe. The reason that I put you I don't get why I have to go. I know. Here, sit down. Sit down. Boy, you're crying. No, it's okay. But I want you to understand. It just doesn't make sense I know what you're saying. I'm so shocked to be nominated because there's people here that are way bigger targets than me. You are in no danger. No, you're not. Can you just explain out of everyone why you have to be me? Yeah, come upstairs. Come here. I know that right now no one will vote against Netta, so I'm putting her up and using her as a pawn so that uh, Paul will for sure go home. Not one person in this house would put your name up for a suggestion going home. I have no idea what Andrew tells me because I'm crying and all I'm thinking is like about how much I hate him. Netta, perfect pawn situation because you yeah, are the first. Let's always go home. List I blame Paul for all of this mayhem. Kyle, Paul, myself, we're a team. And now that Paul blew up, we're screwed. Your old man strength failed us miserably. <laughs> Your wise words 
made us get the first plate ticket. Mayo and hot sauce is right there. No, it's my fault, dude. The house Canada is completely divided. There's three banditos on one side of the house, and every single other house guest in the HOH room like little sheep. Da, da, da. This week is obviously perfect with you as HOH. Now that I know that I'm actually going to play in the POV comp, I need to have a chat with Andrew and let him know who the target should be. Well, say if I win POV, what would you, you think I should do? Leave it? As I'd it say is. leave it. Like, Paul is annoying, and yes, he might be spreading negativity. He might be right. Everybody in the house right now knows so what he's all about. So I'm worried about Colin. Andrew is so focused on getting Paul out because of their altercation, but Big Brother isn't about emotions. It's about playing the game strategically. The only time we're in an issue is if Kyle takes the next HOH. That's what I mean. But if that's the only thing. But that's a 1 in 12 chance. But it's a chance. Kyle is a bigger threat than Paul in literally every way, shape, and form, and I need Andrew to see this. You know, your, your point is really valid. Like, he presents more of a threat to us than Paul in every way. Yes, he does. As much as I absolutely cannot stand Paul, Kenny's bringing up a really good point, and maybe I should start thinking about going after Kyle. So if we get POV, we put Kyle up. Okay. Yeah, that's what I mean. That should probably be our best bet. Yeah. And we're back to wearing Kyle. Kyle is someone who I thought that I would want to pick off. Andrew's doing it. Blood on his hands. None on mine. I'm sitting pretty. I just brought Kyle into the washroom. I feel like there's a big scheme going around the house. I just sense it. Oh, okay. Adele's basically explaining to me there's a possibility we're going to get back to her. So the only reason why is because we jumped up and we helped out Paul. It was a stupid move because basically we rolled around in a chemical field and expected not to melt, but it happened. If one of them wants to pay over you, yeah, they're going to take that 100%. Anyone who wins it is going to take that off. And one of us, one of us, I know now they're the biggest threat is you and me. Oh, yeah. If Mr. Clean's rejected cousin Andrew had any brains, he would definitely have to go for the bigger threats, me and Adele. We got the mental game and then we got the physical game. Congratulations, Kenny! You have won the power of veto! I've decided to use the power of veto on you, Netta. Considering the actions of some of the people in the house this week and the way you conduct yourself as a person and a player, you have made the decision to use the power of veto very easy for me. I have chosen Kyle to be the replacement nominee. I'm a Muslim. I pray five times a day. Allahu Akbar. When Kyle asked me to pray with me, I was ecstatic. Where are you guys going? We're just going to go right here and pray. Okay, then. Get the prayer in. So it definitely gives me like more of an open thought, more of like a clear state of mind. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Subhanaka. Subhanaka. Rabba. Rabba. Alala. Alala. Can I fix this? John is like my big brother in this house. He's probably the only guy I really trust. Honestly, I hate everyone in this house. But you don't hate me. Except you. Okay, good. Now that doesn't have a big mouth on it, so she's definitely someone who I want to work with in this game. Anytime Andrew's around, I sleep it because his voice is I can't. I hate him. I hate how he talks to people in this house. I hate how he's a complete bully. Like, he's not a tool. He's a full box of tools. He's a toolbox. Is it not the most annoying thing that everyone's just on top of him? Right now, everyone's sucking up to Andrew hardcore. Like, you walk into a room, and there's about seven girls sprawled out on the bed next to him. It makes me want to gag. Kyle and Paul, you are both up for eviction tonight. Hey, Adele, please cast your vote to evict. I, I vote to evict Paul. By a vote of 9-1. Kyle, you have been evicted from the Big Brother Canada house. Let's hear it for Kyle. <laughs> Time to crown a new head of household. Ika is the new HOH. Congratulations, you are the new head of household. I was thinking, holy crap, really? I, I'm the winner? I get to have people tell me 
all the little dirty secrets that's been going around the house, and they're going to spill it because I'm HOH. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy because I know I'm safe, and I'm also happy because her target is my target. Bye, Adele. What they do, I would say, Sabrina, when you an HOH, you tell yourself all those things, not Aiko Wong, okay? Aiko Wong listens to nobody but Aiko Wong. I have the results right here for the first twist -o's twist of the season, so let's get right to it. Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, my God. How was your week? Hey. Oh, oh, you're so pretty. I'll stop. You're so awesome. How was your week? Hateful. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Nate? Yeah. I'm sorry, it's not you. Oh. It's all right, it's all right. Allison, congratulations, you are the final house guest. Hit me with them. First, you can make up any story you want as to why you're late to enter the house, okay. but you can never tell the other house guests about the secret room. Never. Never. And on top of that, they can never know that you've been watching them for the last week. Ever. If you reveal either of those secrets, you will be evicted from the Big Brother house immediately, okay. okay? And remember, Big Brother is always watching. Do you understand the rules? Yes, ma'am. Well, all right. Allison, stand by. You're about to go into the big, 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 big house. Thank you, Rizal. All right, then it's time. The Big Brother Secret Service will escort you inside. to meet Allison and I'm hesitant and I'm scared. It's a ton of different feelings because I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure what angle she's coming from. Where are you from? Because you look really familiar. Oh, I'm from Grand Falls. Oh my God. I know you. Yeah, I've definitely seen you before. That's so weird. I've definitely seen you before. Oh my God. When I realize that I, I know this person, that I've met her before, uh, I'm freaking out because there's aspects of my life that I'm hiding and she might know. It's Allison is gorgeous. There's finally another blonde. This could potentially be a new friend in the house for me, a new ally. Hello to Allison. Hi. Hi. She is the newest house guest. So you all need to know that she has immunity I for the it. week. I knew it. She will not compete in the POV competition. She cannot be nominated for eviction for one week only. Have fun and good night for now. I know she kind of has a crush on me. I mean, she's a woman, so I just put my face out there and I know she's going to lean in and, and take what I'm given. <laughs> Devilish, uh, taking advantage of her feelings like that, but this is a game and that's why we're here and I know by strengthening that connection I'm gonna make sure that she's gonna continue to deliver the information that we need to make the right decisions to move forward We'll gather all the information. We got a lot tomorrow. of players in this game. We got a lot of players in this game. We got game. a lot of players and listen, I guarantee you we got a lot of f leeway in how we play this game as well. Because yeah. Ike is acting like nothing's happened. Yeah. I don't really know where, where I stand with Ika right now. Like, I know that she considers me a threat and she wants me gone. I hope she puts both of us up. She won't. It would be so stupid of her. I don't think Ika, listen, Ika's not She's here for reach. She's not, she's not a idiot. The new table is absolutely gorgeous. Can I have that when I leave? I'm in a really tough situation right now. I gotta go to Aika's room and convince her that I am not a threat to her. Now let's think of the game, okay? So, 
there's four guys that are strong. John, Andrew, and Kenny. The, yeah, and then Arlie is. Arlie is a vote with them. Yeah. He's with them. Arlie's pretty strong too. Yeah, he's he's really he's good. But out of the three big dogs, John is. He is not going to be able to do any real competing, no matter so what. There's no point in going after John. No, the big three are really the big two right now. If one of the big two go... But if I put Andrew and Kenny in the block, there's a veto and one of them is going to win the veto. So Adele's trying to convince me to put up Andrew and Kenny. But it's easy for people to want to make big moves on your HOH, but never on theirs. So if you don't make a move and Paul leaves, everything is going to be back to normal. If one of them boys win, who do you think the next two are going to be on the block? Me and you or Neda. No one else. We need to get the top two dogs out of this house right now. This is Ika's chance to shine and be the queen bee of this house. We need to make it a mission that if Ika puts us up, that every single one of us is coming for her. Yeah, yep. and I'm going. If Ika even thinks about putting Kenny or I up on the block, we're coming after her and we're getting her out of this house. Come. Come here, come here. Okay, hurry before I just look on this out. Nominations are fast approaching and I need to make a decision. We're in the bathroom and for the one little moment, Heather is nowhere around. Yes, I can actually sit with my girls and tell them what's really up. I'm thinking of putting Paul up on the block and I want to put Heather up as a pawn. I don't trust Heather. She's the kind of person that will whisper over here and whisper over there and she's telling like blatant lies according to Sabrina. I'll say so. Hey, hey girl. Hey. As the girls are all talking, guess who comes to the room? Hi guys. You can't stop talking because you're thinking she'll think we're talking yeah. about her. Everyone wants from what I've heard. Oh. Everyone wants Paul. Yeah. Even though we're talking about Heather behind her back, we don't want to make her feel isolated. We don't want to give her any clue that we're talking about her. At least Paul and Adele are too close that she's only one and she's not playing for her age and wage if they are. And they'll make moves that she won't make. <laughs> Being in the Big Brother house is kind of like junior high all over again. There are cliques everywhere. I hated junior high. I was very much the outsider. <laughs> looking in and I don't want to go back to that place. I actually have to say I'm way more comfortable with you guys than I am with the girls. I got that vibe from you. I'm talking to Allison on the hammock here with Kenny. She's pretty cool and I think that she's on the same level as us boys. Like, if we get Allison on board, I mean it's just one more vote in our direction, which is key. I think it's a very stupid decision right now to put up Heather. I understand that the girls don't like Heather, but I just want them to pause for a minute and think about the game. I think that we have way bigger fish to be frying right now. I think the boys' alliance is huge. Why are we doing them a favor by taking out Paul and Heather and all these people when we can go after Kenny and Andrew and take out a really big threat? It's super frustrating not being able to get to the girls and getting them to realize how big a threat these guys are to our game. Like, why are we keeping these guys in the house when we clearly know they're gonna come after us next week? And Nena's making some valid points. So maybe we should consider putting up a guy this week. I have nominated you, Paul, and you, Heather, for eviction. I nominated Heather, and I told her that she is just a pawn, but in reality, she's my target because I need her to go. I need Paul to stay to help me with my game. I'm scot-free right now from the block, and I think me and Aika have something really brewing. Okay, bro. We've got three days, dude. Just I think our problem is a new girl and Heather. Heather is very dangerous, guys. No one trusts anything. This is the thing. To go on the block. I would kick her. It was great because I was thinking, how am I going to tell these girls that it's really Heather that I want gone and not Paul? So when she said it, I was like, yes. I think it's a good idea to keep Paul. I think it's a good idea, too. I think that it's smart to get rid of Heather and keep Paul because the boys want to go after Paul no matter what. Andrew has a personal vendetta against him, so that'll just guarantee us one extra week. Now that Heather's a target, I need to figure out if I can trust Paul, so I bring him into the HOH room. What's up? <laughs> He's like, what's up? You're up. I'm, on the I'm trying to hint to Paul that Heather's the target and the girls are going to keep him safe. Girls have majority vote. That's all I'm going to say to you. I totally see where you're going with this. Yeah, you're welcome to sleep in my bed anytime you like when you're not half mine. So at this point, no one has made a huge effort to get to know me and talk to me. 
except for Andrew. So I'm going to see where this goes. I wouldn't call, you know, what's going on with Allison game. I'm definitely not that cold. I wouldn't do that for solely strategic reasons. POV competition, I show up okay. to my room okay. and I feel ambushed by Kenny and his crew. Yeah, so where's where's your brain at? I think it's better if Heather leaves just because Paul's a target. He'll always be a target. I feel like Heather is someone that's gonna coast through the game. She's not gonna try to win anything and you don't know where her head's at. She lays the news on us that she wants to keep Paul for another week and send Heather home instead. I'm a little pissed off, honestly, because I know she just wants to keep Paul, so there's more people in the house to go after us. For me, because he annoys me, he's a vicious liar, yeah. he does nothing around the house. But all those things are Heather too. Who the hell are you, Wilderbeast Kenny? Do not come up in here and tell me what's best for your game. You wanna to talk to Andrea? No, not yet. You want me to go get him? And that he can trust me. Andrew, you're wanted in the HOH. What, they asked me in the HOH? Yeah. This Paul. Yeah. So I kept him now as an extra week because it made more sense. I know what you're okay. saying, right? But I need f***ing like 100% assurance that this doesn't stay in the game any longer than that. Yeah. And if he insulted you so much, you should have kicked his ass out last week. Are you kidding me? Yeah, so, uh... And we just came in and we cooked some... After a few hours of being at the doctor's, they finally say that I can come back. Do you want me to just carry you up? The doctors told me that I just need to stay on crutches for a few days, ice my knee, then I'll be good to go. As it is... Adele. Tower of Vito player pick card. This card grants you the power to compete in one power of veto competition of your choice. I have decided. Not to use the power of veto. The girls want to vote out Heather, the boys want to vote out Paul. The boys are working very hard to make sure that Paul leaves and somebody switches their vote. And nobody really knows about Allison right now. Exactly. I'm thinking I'm going to vote with the girls. It's no immediate danger to the first five, so I'm okay with it. I'm calling the house guests to the HOH room and I'm going to tell them about my tweets and what's going on in the outside world. But not my secret power. Um, and then they gave me a secret power. You should have seen Andrew's face and Kenny's face. It was priceless. Power is going to most benefit myself, Aika, and Paul. Because when one of us are on the block, I can pull out a certain person and compete in their place and help us win the POV at that moment. Adele has just informed us that he has a secret power. And that makes him incredibly dangerous here in the house, especially the fact that we don't know what it is. Right now, as it stands, we don't have the votes to evict Paul. The girls think that it's best to stay with Ika's decision so that they do not out themselves as members of the First Five Alliance. So I need to convince either Sarah or Sabrina to vote in our direction. Adele? You, buddy. <laughs> Me and Ika are the new dream team in this Big Brother house. We're working together, and you know what? She's an angel. I am kind of actually starting to like Adele, and I feel some loyalty towards this guy. I don't want you up there at all, like, at all. I want you up there at all. Let me tell you what my weapon does. Yeah. I trust Ika the most, so I'm telling her the truth about my power. I can change any player in any POV until the game is done. No one knows it. What you need to do with that one is you need to lie, and you say this. The video that they gave me, it allows me to veto a nomination and replace nomination. Exactly. Me and Aika made amazing plans to spread lies about my power, and I think it's time. 
To evict Paul, we need to get one of the girls to switch over and vote with us. Um, I've decided to approach Sarah over Sabrina because she's much more level-headed. All it takes is one vote because we have... I know, but then I'm exposed. I 100% hold the power to evict Paul this week. However, that would immediately expose me as not being part of this girls' alliance. I just feel like I'm on the bottom of the girls. They're going to know it's me, but I'm going to try Because him in this house is extremely dangerous right now. I know. We have built this alliance and these connections in the first five, and if we're not going to stay loyal to them and use them when we need them, what was the point of establishing them in the first place? You just don't admit to it. The pressure they're putting on me is so intense. I'm trying so hard to separate the group, myself, the girls. I just want you guys to know that's where my head's at. I feel like my back's up against the wall. It's now time for the live voting to begin. I vote to evict Paul. I vote to evict Heather. I vote to evict Paul. I vote to evict Paul. I vote to evict Heather. I vote to happily evict Heather. I vote to evict the leaky wall, Paul. I vote to evict Heather. I vote to evict Paul. I vote to evict Paul. Thank you. By a vote of 6-4, Paul, you have been evicted from the Big Brother Canada House. I don't know what happened. I fought for you to stay all week. And if you're sitting out there, then it means that there are some shady people in this house and my ass is next. The voting went exactly according to plan. It was perfectly executed. Allison jumped on board, and we also got Sarah, part of the First Five Alliance, to vote with us. Well, I know the girls are extremely mad at me. They're disappointed. Hi, man. Well, the one person I trusted most in this house ended up being a conniving little bitch. And Miss Ica, in case you haven't figured it out, then Work. Sarah doesn't vote with the girls. Sends shockwaves through the house. Certain girls run upstairs like chickens with their heads cut off. Another group gathers in the pantry. This is going to divide the house even further than we're already divided. She told me she was sorry. Sorry, my life. Why didn't she tell you guys? You guys could have voted with her. Yeah, she's because she did it to screw us. She screwed us. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. We just need to win. Sabrina, we need to win. Why does she do this? Why didn't win. she tell me? That, she, she, she knows our plan. The that's, that's, I'm freaking out. I just did not expect to be so blindsided and betrayed. Okay, it's time to find out who will be the next HOH. <laughs> Opportunity. This was my HOH. You just won. You just won. Just... Rochelle's HOH this week, and that means that I'm safe. I'm just hoping that she can make a bold enough move and get one of the guys out and not go for Heather again and make the exact same mistake we made last week. New girl's scary, though. I thought she was going to win that. Oh, yeah, new girl. So why don't I just put Heather new girl? The, the guys are coming after us. Huh? Ned, I just... Calm down, I love you, but just let me make my own decisions. I appreciate your opinions, but it's my HOH, and I'm going to do what's best for my game. I love my new dresser from the brick. Big Brother calls me and Allison in the room. I have no idea what's going on. Big Brother must be up to something. Big Brother gave us the choice to have a drink. Start with something, Josh? Like a cream? Sounds good to me. And then we gotta go out and converse with house guests without them suspecting anything. Myself and John had two beer, and maybe another two beer. Super serious right now. We have one, two. <sighs> so they know. One, two, three, four. Uh, She's definitely getting prettier. Aw, oh, thanks. Johnny? <laughs> Aldi Saul, are you okay? What hurts you? My stomach, ma'am. Do you want hot water and lemon? I could do that, but I, I don't think I can put anything in my mouth right now, though. Yeah. Train, ready? Everyone, everyone. Choo choo! Choo choo! Choo choo! Choo choo! <laughs> the fat secret mission! And we were successful, so come on into the secret dungeon! Yeah. It just 
sucks. What a weight of an HOA. They want to put up Heather and take Heather out, who can't walk or talk straight. And they want to leave two strong guys in the house. We could have split up that alliance. They already have Sarah. There's only four of us and all of them. And we're going after Creepzilla. Nika starts pulling out that it's a stupid move to not put power players on the block. And the power players she's talking about are Andrew and Kenny, which are part of my first five alliance. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna let this happen, but it's freaking me out because she's cornering me really bad. Go after Andrew and Kenny this week. And they're sitting there looking at me like two dumbass bears in a headlight. They're coming after us. They're coming after us. I can't let Ika influence the house. I need to get to work and save my boys. Sabrina is by far my best friend in this house. She's smart and I trust her opinions and she will help me through this game. If you listen to me, you will be able to join me. Yeah. You cannot put up Kenny or Andrew. They don't if God forbid Ika wins next week, she's gonna take out the guys and we're dead. I think it should be Heather and Allison for sure. And if Allison wins POV. I really think you should put Ika. I have nominated you, Heather, and you, Allison, for eviction. Heather, I think it's clear from day one we have butted heads. It is honestly a strategic move for me because I know that if you won HOH next week, I would be on the line. Allison, you are strictly a pawn. You are neutral in this game. So it just made sense for me. This nomination ceremony is now complete. Today is just not a great day. Can't help but feel I'm just going to be a target this whole way through. Good girl, Rochelle. Another week passes and I'm HOH with no blood on my hands. Basically, I like to think of myself as the puppet master for right now. I'm very happy with my nominations. I'm very happy with my nominations. Heather, sorry, darling, you're going home. Sorry, girl. Rochelle, you're not sorry at all. You tried to get me kicked out, put me on slop. It's quite clear that you don't want me here. But I'm sorry, miss. I'm not going anywhere. So you can keep trying, but by the end of the day, I'm going to be here until you leave. After the nominations, I wanted to talk to Sabrina and just see where her loyalties lie. And tell her, put up Heather. She said, I'm putting up Heather. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think it was a clear choice. Heather is so annoying. Obviously, I knew about the nominations, Heather. I'm the one who decided the nominations. Okay. Okay. What about this? Her nominations, and I support them. After my conversation with Sabrina, I know that we're not friends. I can't trust her, and her opinion really doesn't mean shit. Well, you sure me? You're good. Really, though? You're good, baby. Absolutely. I really enjoy hanging out with Allison. I think she's an awesome person. But Sabrina is putting a little bit of doubt in my mind. So it's not a game of, of friends. It's a game of smart moves. It would be smart to take out Allison because she's a warrior. I want that veto so bad. Hopefully I'm competing in it with you. Would you use it if you wanted? Yeah, I use it to video you. Really? You swear? I swear. Okay. When I tell Allison that I would use the veto to take her off the block, I'm sincere. I mean that. But if this showman comes in the way of the first five in any way, then I'm going to have to get rid of her. <laughs> Come on. Clearly, all four of us were blindsided. We didn't do it to each other. You know, somebody else chose to do it to us. After speaking to Adele, I decided to call this girls' meeting to see if I could salvage whatever is left of this girls' alliance. I feel like if we break apart right now, it's not good. The guys already have such a strong bond. It would be nice to say, okay, let's do this. Let's 100% trust each other, but I just don't know how long it would last. I'm not stupid. Last week, we're buddy buddies. They're giving me all their advice and opinions. And this week, they won't even look me in the eye or talk to me. I know that I'm in trouble.
When I walk up to join Aika and Sabrina at the pool, I do not expect to walk in on such an intense conversation. Okay, so she came to talk to me because she just felt like we we're different with her. And she was wondering if her name was thrown out there. And I, I am totally not prepared to have this conversation with Aika, but I'm glad Sabrina is here for moral support. I love you as a person, okay? And I'm not just saying that. I really, really, really love you. Rochelle, I swear I would never put you up. And I would yeah. never, ever, like, backdoor you. I'm not going after the girls. Yeah. It's killing me to friggin' sit there and plea to stupid Rochelle in her hot dog costume. I just That's don't want you to her. Oh, my God, my friend. I would never do that to you. It hurts. It really, really hurts. It hurts to see Aika so upset, but I have to do what's right for me. Nobody's gonna vote to keep me probably except for you because you're my friend. No, I'm putting your vote for you no matter what, of course. It just sucks. I have decided to use the power of veto on myself. I am so sorry. I love you so much as a human being, but you are just such a strong and powerful player and I need to do what's best for my game right now. I could being on the block with me gives me hope that I could be here for at least one more week. I believe that the house doesn't really like her very much and she's made way too many enemies. The first five's plan for Sabrina to be the mole is uh, working perfectly. She's teamed up with Rochelle. She's put Micah up on the block exactly as we planned. And it's perfect for us because it allows me and Andrew to fly under the radar. I just hate this game. I'm not, I'm not like that. I can't do these things. She's my Sabrina's pretty broke up that her so-called friend Oika is on the block. She's like, she's my lover. She's dangerous in this cage, you know what I mean? And I know it's been such a game, but I'm not this person. I can stop her. Guarantee of the waterworks, we're not 100% real, but I kind of want to make her feel like she's playing me, like she has me right where she wants me. I believe the waterworks. I believe that she's so sad. We all see through Sabrina. Everyone is talking about her, everyone sees it. She cries, she lies, she steals, she cheats. If I won HOH, yeah. Sabrina's the one I want my girlfriend. Hands down. She ruined my game for me. I was doing so well and she me, so I want her out of here. Yeah, I want to put up Sabrina. Okay. But when it gets back to her, you better watch out for the raft. Sabrina hasn't been in danger yet because she is the big brother snitch. She goes crew to crew to crew getting any little information and sending it to the big two bad wolves, Kenny and Andrew. Delia, you're the bomb. Good luck, babe. We're going to get through this, I hope. That's the door right there, I'm guessing. Yeah, we just walk right through. Boom, you're in. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a pillow fort junkie. I love them. I feel like you're going away to a whole nother universe. <laughs> I'm sorry if I made personal comments that hurt your feelings. Whether you heard it back or not, I apologize. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Thank you. Oh! 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 You better pay attention. If you count, I'm winning. House guests, how many balls were dropped in the backyard? 1,108. Congratulations, Ika. You are correct. John totally did it that night, too. John. <laughs> Let us from home! Oh, my God! He's been on the check! I'm fucked up! Oh, my God! Mike is on the check. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! she's going to have to choose the check or to give us our letters. So take the money and shred the letters from home, or you can shred the check and give the letters to your fellow house guest. No matter what I do, they, they're not going to keep me. They're not going to keep me. Such a dumb bitch. That was my letter. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. Bitch. You are so... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sabrina, bitch. Ah. Oh. 
Kasmi. You came in here. Not my game. Goodbye, good greetings to you. You, the mole, be gone. Oh, Arlie, you could go. You could go, honey. You don't bring the letter. You could go. John, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, Heather. Girl. Netta, I'm sorry. So sorry. Telltale sign right there. So sorry. Adele, I'm so sorry. Okay, don't be sorry. Yeah. Get out of here, Kenny. Oh, Turn shut your serpent mouth. You f bitch. Get the f out of here. You f heartless f bitch. Stop. Hi, Adele. I vote to evict Heather. By a vote of eight one. Aika, you have been evicted from the Big Brother Canada house. But this week, things are different. This week, there is no HOH competition. What? Okay. Canada voted couch. Canada voted I told you on the couch. Big Brother has already selected who will be the next head of household. What? Holy Canada decided. I decided. Oh. Wow. Would you like to know who it is? No. Yes. Canada. Oh. I Viewers at home will be choosing who is nominated for eviction this week. I'm genuinely concerned for my safety. I think that I might be looked at as a bad guy in this place. I feel like I've lost control. I feel helpless in this situation. Jesus Holy Christ. Shit. People are worried in this house right now that Canada's HOH because they were straight up bullies. And you know us Canadians, we don't like bullies. It might seem like I'm buddies with the two power players in this game, Kenny and Andrew, but I guarantee you, I can't trust them as far as I can throw them. The only one I trust in this game right now is Netta. It's good to have a friend in here. Netta's definitely one who I'm going to turn to from an emotional standpoint, game standpoint, personal standpoint. Can't hit Peanut, don't like her. Her mm. lies, her flip -outs. They may like her because of that. No. no I want her. Listen. I, I think I... Don't I, worry. No, I always worry. The game really started off as girls versus boys. That's why I think I was personally really hesitant to trust John in the beginning. But since all of those alliances have been blowing up now and everyone's kind of going after each other, he's really the only one that I've stuck with and who's stuck by me. I think my back is against the walls again. I'm kind of stuck on my own. I have my times that I just feel sad. I miss laughing with her. I miss her sense of humor. I miss her making fun of me and me making fun of her. It was good times. Say hi to Brendan and the kids. And if you see any of my family or friends, tell them I'm trying my best. I miss you, bro. Lots of cool things in the HOH room, but the part that stood up to me the most was probably the sparkly lamp from the brick, because, let's face it, I love sparkles. Up until this point, how we're being perceived by Canada didn't really have any effect on us. I mean, if it's good or bad, we can deal with it once we leave the house. Now, how we're being perceived by Canada and how we are as people and how we play this game has everything to do with this game and they have all the power. So now it's kind of looking back on everything that we've done and said and wondering, are we being perceived well? It's just an interesting few days. I think John and I have both been playing very safe games so far. I was planning on coasting for a couple more weeks before making a big move, but the twist definitely has lit my game on fire. We can finally get these people out. Man, Kenny's new. Yeah. 
green light, Canada. Definitely time for me and Ned to start playing this game hard. Andrew and Sabrina, Canada has nominated you both for eviction from the Big Brother house. But you will still have a chance to compete for the power of veto. I've always known that I was going to put an end to the first five. Now that Canada's put two of them up on the block, it's blatantly obvious that now's the time to do it. And I'm going to shift my alliances to the other side of the house. putting a backup plan in place for us just in case the first five did fall apart. You know I trust you. I'm my life in this game. But I don't have the relationships that you have with that. So that's why I have to make me nervous. Sarah has a lot of my trust in this game, but I can't put my trust completely in one person. I'm going to spread it across a few different people because I want them each to individually believe they're my number one and it would be foolish for them to betray my trust. Hey, everyone! Yeah. It's time to pick players for the power of veto competition! Yeah. Heather. House guest's choice. Yeah. Yeah. Heather, Heather, pick me. Please get me up there. Kenny, Kenny. Ah, oh, you guys are making this so hard on Kenny, me. Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. Jelly yeah. meatballs! I'm gonna f call her. Andrew comes into the bathroom and he's clearly pissed off at me. I'm frustrated with you because you, we talk in a nice way about how we look at each other. You choose a guy who's outright against me. Because either way, it doesn't matter who I pick. It does matter. Somebody else could be fighting to save me. And now I got somebody who's gonna keep it the same. I Made in decision that is against me and Sabrina. You guys can see it for however you want to see it, but well, if you by the end of the day, like you didn't talk to me beforehand. Well, what the f what the f difference does it make? Be as mad as you want. Huh? F dumb bitch. Cool. People are just jerks for no reason. So Adele and Netta are trying to make me feel better about how big of a douche Andrew can be. Calling a girl a bitch is not okay. Unless she actually was being a bitch, you know, which you were. This is why he's up. Not because he's like a strong player, but because he's an ass. That's why we need to win POV today. We need to trust each other no matter what. Right now, trust is so important in this house because the house will divide in the next week or two. And if we keep the numbers, we'll sail right to the ending. this game and we're gonna be huge 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 players i'm gonna start meeting up with heather a little bit more frequently so that i can really solidify those bonds with the other side of the house and i hate it hate it hate it how you're being treated and now it's just gonna be like they, they can't do sh and we're gonna crush them out of this game heather's been beaten down so i just let heather know i got your back and we will get revenge with me, you, Adele, and John. Mm -hmm. It's going to run through this house, and no one sees it. People are guessing about you guys just because you're not on the other side. But they have no clue about me, and that's the key. Because they'll keep giving me information, and I'll just keep telling you guys. And that's how you'll know I'm with you. I'm just with you guys. It's so obvious from the things I'm doing. It feels amazing for Arlie to tell me that we're going to be huge players and run this house. I'm very excited about the secret alliance together. It's so epic what we're doing. It's going to be perfect. It's perfect. Here we go, baby! John has won the power of veto! What are you doing in here? I've been slowly having a plan B alliance, and now it's coming into full effect. The old first five has no clue what's happening. Literally best friends. And My best move right now is to align with Arlie. And me and Arlie being the two that are hopefully gonna run show in this house. It's huge. Fine, I'm already resigned to this fact. 
and I'm okay with it. I want you to be here more than I want to be here. Ultimately, I feel genuinely that Sabrina deserves to be here more than I do. And if I go um, on Thursday, I want to make it as easy as I can for the rest of the five to go on and not feel bad about the situation. I have decided not to use the power of veto. Ultimately, this is Canada's week. They voted who they want on the block. They know this game and what's happening in here far more than any of us do. With all of this commotion going on with the first five, I kind of need to bring our league back in and, and make sure that, you know, we're solid. You gotta give me more than this. I know you know stuff, and then when I ask you questions, you never ever give me anything back. And that really... We... Kenny has suspicions about me, but since I know Kenny thinks Sabrina's an absolute liar in this game, I just deflected on Sabrina. I obviously trust Sabrina a lot, and I want to go far with her, but I know she's lying to me to better her game. She does lie a lot. I'm afraid to say that to you, though, man, because it's f***ing Sabrina. Yeah, but Sabrina is Sabrina, and I'm me. You don't need to worry about that coming from me and going to her. I can understand where he's coming from. He might not want to voice his opinions to me or anyone else for fear of it getting back to Sabrina. It actually makes me feel a lot better because I was hoping that's what it would be, and that's all that it would be. I'm with you. I'm with Sabrina. I'm with Sarah. He has no clue how deep I'm in with the other side. How much do I love the f chain smoke right now? I, I will be in like three days. You don't know that. I'm getting a little paranoid that Andrew might have to vote to stick around. So I need to get in nice with them just in case that happens. Let's be serious. Okay, let's try out two votes for me. Allison and Kenny will vote for me to stay in the house. Don't f roll over and f die. You get votes, and I know that the house is split. I'm going to keep you 100%. If I convince Della, there's four right there. There's a glitch conversation between us three. So. Come on. I'm gay. strategic thing at first for like flirting because I was a bartender I was good at I was accepted by my friends my family <sighs> coming up to Sarah is partly strategy I know it'll strengthen our bond and our relationship and that I can use in the game but it is largely just me knowing and loving Sarah and just wanting her to know exactly who I am and house guests will they will each enter the diary room one at a time and cast their votes to evict. I vote to evict Sabrina. Hey, I vote to evict Sabrina. By a vote of 7-2. Andrew, you have been evicted from the Big Brother Canada house. Finally, the head of the monster, Andrew, is gone and now all we need to do is get rid of the rest of the body. The only thought coming to mind is good riddance. This took all of the outsiders and put them on top and leveled the playing fields for everyone in the house. It is time to find out who will be the next HOH. To buzz in, we'll have the opportunity to answer. If you're correct, you can then blindside any other remaining house guest and eliminate them from the competition. Adele. I know immediately that I need to take out Kenny because just a second before I was afraid that he was going to be taking John out of the competition. Kenny, I'm sorry. So my girl Netta pipes up and blindsides Kenny. <laughs> Netta does whatever John says. So by Netta taking me out of the game, John's hands are clean. Sabrina. Allison, sorry. Sorry, Roro. Sorry, Mumsy. 
this is like an out and out line drawn in the sand basically that John is on the other side. Heather got there first, really doesn't matter to me. I'm in between Heather and Netta, probably my two biggest allies. John, I'm sorry, buddy. Congratulations, Heather. You are the new head of household. HOH, I mean, I'm in trouble. She might have a bigger grudge against certain people on my side more so than me. But I know John and Adele are in her ear flat out, and I don't know how much of a puppet she is yet. If I get my mind in her mind, Kenny's going on the block, and Kenny is following Andrew. Later, bud. The brick gave me a side table, which is absolutely beautiful. This is my bear. Oh. This is Barry Bear. I love him. Since it was clear Arlie threw the HOH competition, he no longer can fool me as to how he is playing this game. <laughs> I got your number, boy. Sarah walks in with a look on her face, and I don't know exactly what's going on. What do you mean? <laughs> you know what I mean. No, I, I, well, I have suspicion, but what do you mean, what do you mean? I feel like she might have heard something that she shouldn't have. I'm pretty freaked out. I need to get to the bottom of this. It's just I played it over in my mind, and the best case scenario for you would have been exactly what just happened in that challenge. <laughs> Arlie is smack in the middle of both sides, and for him to win HOH would absolutely be devastating to his game. I was like, so perfect. I was in my pants because both sides were going to keep me in, and I couldn't get a question right early mm -hmm. and have to choose sides. So I was just sitting there like, oh my god, oh my god, and I also couldn't win. And nobody was evicting you because you're on both sides. I basically want him to know that I am not fooled by how he's playing this game, and so if he's hiding anything from me, I will figure it out. I love you, Arles. Love you, too. How's it going, Heather? I'm in the bedroom, and I see the boys, and because we're working together, I decide to tell them how I'm messing with Rochelle. I just told Allison I'm putting her up tomorrow. You told Allison? Yeah. I thought you told Rochelle. I told Rochelle, too. Okay, and what happened? I told Rochelle because I wanted to f with her for ruining my HOH. Okay, what happened? So you're actually putting up Allison. That's wild. Rochelle upset the whole entire house, messed up my HOH, so I'm gonna mess with her a little bit. That's badass. You're a badass, Heather. I love you guys. I love you guys. Perfect. That just keeps them fighting. These girls can fight it out, and I'm just gonna sit back and watch. <laughs> I hope Heather nominates me, actually, because the ulterior option is them backdooring me, and I'm a competitor. I have nominated you, Allison, and you, Kenny, for eviction. Kenny, I find you to be a very strong player in this game and my biggest threat. Allison, you are strictly my pawn. This is only game. Heather made the perfect decision nominating Kenny and Allison. My numbers are getting stronger. Their numbers are diminishing. The house is completely divided right now. On the other side, we have Sarah, Sabrina, Rochelle, Kenny, and Allison is right in the middle. She has no idea where to lay her cards right now. If we can get her over on our side, even for the next few weeks, it's definitely going to help us. Big move in this game is a little bit scary and could potentially put a huge target on my back. I'm putting a lot of faith in Arlie, John, Netta, and Adele for all of this to come together and work out nicely. Hi, babe. Wasn't sweet enough? No, 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 no. Oh, no. I can't even. I'm gonna do everything I can to keep you here. Okay? Mumsy. I have my reasons for not putting up Sarah, but ultimately, this was just what I had to do. I don't know what you know. I'm not part of the original five. 
I think you can find out who those five might be. You, Kenny, Sarah, Arlie. Sabrina? Rochelle's not even in it. Hmm. I had my suspicions about those five already working together, but this just shows me that Allison is putting faith and some trust in me as well. Because I was so close to Andrew and spent so much time with him, I was able to figure out who his alliance was. I stepped into Gordo's spot. They call me Gordo, but I'm not. I'm the low man on the totem pole. Oh. So those four. What Allison doesn't know is that Arlie is secretly working with us, and we have the votes to make her stay. After talking to Allison, I decided it's a good idea to talk to my alliance and let them know that Allison is starting to want to build trust with me and that it's a good time to start pulling her into our side of the house. I found out that the alliance is Arlie, Sarah, Kenny, Allison, and Sabrina. Michelle's not even in it. That's f And the only reason Allison was in it was because of Andrew. But like, Arlie's 100% Pretending with them, yes? Yes. We won't say anything about that, right? No, no, I'm not saying Kenny, you have won the power of veto! Super annoyed. When Kenny wins the veto, she runs up, gives him the biggest hug in the world, and I know that's the nail in her coffin. Oh my god, I'm sick. As happy as I am that he's safe this week, I really feel like I might have made a fatal, fatal error by being so openly excited. Yeah, so I'm just going really excited when he won. Let's just get rid of her, man. Let's get rid of her. Yeah? There was a point in this game when I trusted Sarah more than anyone else. She was my number one. But now, Sarah's in a little too deep with Kenny. I can't tell how much I can trust her or not, and I really have no more use for her in this game. Tyler Tosh went, that's what I'll say. We'll go with Momsy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah? She's gone. It'll happen. And I'll make the deciding vote to prove it. Exactly. And you prove your loyalty, too. I really think that me and Harley, we have a lot of trust going between us right now. And this was definitely a turning point and popped my head at rest. All right. Done. I love it. So where's your head at for tomorrow? Now that your biggest target has taken himself off. Take the target off of Sarah's back. So I'm basically trying to highlight another big player in the game. So Heather considers it a big move, and we're safe for the week. John has done nothing but lie, cheat, and steal since he's been here. And I'm, I'm tired of it. And I'm going to go after him. Mistake number one, Kenny. Don't you know that I'm already working with John? I can guarantee you that I will not come after you for the next two weeks as much as I possibly can for two weeks. One week guaranteed. Mistake number two, Kenny. You're only promising me one week? Are you kidding me? One week. Right now, I really need to hear where people's minds are at. Mumsy is my girl, and I still guarantee you that next week I will not come after you if you promise me not to put up Mumsy. That's the one person that, like, is near and dear to my heart in here. I, I don't want to see Mumsy up there. Mistake number three, Kenny, telling me how important Sarah is to you and your game. I'm definitely going to put that at the very top of my list. Thank you very much. If we kick out Mumsy, that cuts ties with Kenny and Sabrina Big time. and Allison, which is huge. I just talked to Harley, and he wanted me to come back and tell you that it's Mumsy if he wants. It is? Yep. John tells me that Arlie has given the go to put up Sarah as a replacement nominee. I'm ecstatic. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. So I check out these new mysterious flowers, and I find a clue. A riddle. It's sending me on a scavenger hunt for a secret power.
before three nomination ceremonies, and it can even be used after the regular power of veto. Telling any other house guest about your secret power, or even this secret room, will result in an instant eviction. Yours. I'm trying to figure out last minute if I want to use my secret power of veto or if I'm going to trust what this new alliance is telling me that I'll be safe. If I don't use it and I go home, I will never live it down. I have decided to use the power of veto on myself. Sarah. Hello and welcome to a double eviction night on Big Brother Canada. I'm going to have to talk to Arlie and see if I can fix it. Mind made up. I can't gain anything else from not exposing myself. I feel like if I keep up the facade now, it's only more detrimental to my game. Well, we can always chat, but I'm pretty much going to look happening. If I continue the lying when there's no more need to lie, I feel like that could be used against me. So I just, I come clean. Yeah. Going with them, unfortunately. Okay. My game is honestly like 50 times better for a million reasons. And I honestly yeah. feel like trash. You honest to God, no, I love you in and out of this game. Like, I really do, so. In this moment, I'm actually just shocked that he's not even giving me the opportunity to plead my case. Can you give me a hug? I don't even really feel bad because it's strictly game for me. It doesn't really phase me. I can quit being completely fake and just want to be sort of fake. <laughs> I don't have a choice. I had a choice and I choose you every time. Think of a name. Now that everything's out in the open, the whole house is blown up by our new alliance, it's really time to solidify this six with a cool name. Comeback Kids. The Netherlands. Yeah, thank oh. you. It's the worst name ever. Sloppy seconds. That was actually kind of funny. For the whole game, we were like second to somebody else. I really like it. Are we? We're the sloppy seconds. No way. Oh my god, yes That's we are. So yeah. That's the best name ever. Yes! The sloppy seconds. Oh. Yeah. I'm having so much fun. Yeah. Me too. Before this week, I kind of felt that if I came out to the house, it would make me look like a huge liar. But now that I'm target numero uno, I figure, what the hell? Get him, gay. What? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! What? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! I'm in shock. I thought I had really good gaydar. You just blew up. Well, let's check in with the house guests now and get to the first eviction of the night. It's Allison. I vote to evict Allison. To evict Allison. By a vote of 3-4. Sarah, you have been evicted from the Big Brother Canada house. Fast and furious. You ready to get to the HOH competition? Yeah. The competition starts on the other side being knocked out. Comes down to just Arlie and I. Netta, come on up for the final question. I want to do the endurance one, so I don't want to win this one. Okay. When it comes down to the there final question of the HOH, Netta whispers to me, Harley, I want you to win it. And in my head, I'm thinking, I don't want to win it. I'm much more confident competing for myself in the second HOH than I am having Netta compete for me. More or less? Arlie, you are incorrect. There are more 20, which means that Netta, congratulations, you are the new HOH. I'm really pissed off because I told Arlie to press the right answer so I could throw this one so that I could play in the next competition. He hits the wrong button on purpose, and now I can't even celebrate because I'm pissed off. Don't talk to Netta right now. I'm not. I'm doing the two from those options. Gremlins is our name for Sabrina and Michelle. You have to nominate two of your fellow house guests for eviction right now. So who is it? Um, I'm sorry, you guys, Rochelle and Sabrina. Hi, guys. Hey. Hi. It's time for the POV. 
Congratulations, Arlie. You have won the power of veto. Arlie, we need to know right now. Are you going to use the POV? If so, on whom? And to use it on the show. <laughs> oh, but, sorry, Teddy. <laughs> I love you. If I were to paint a picture of how I wanted this POV and HOH to go, it would have had nothing on how it actually went. It was perfect. Please cast your vote to evict. I never thought I would be saying this, but I vote to evict Sabrina. By a vote of 5-1. Kenny, you have been evicted from the Big Brother Canada house. I could use my secret power veto on Kenny, but the numbers aren't in my favor, and it's just really not a smart game move for me right now. His threat in this game, and my biggest threat to winning this game, walked out that door, I could start to see the dollar signs. And I don't want to get too cocky. There's still a lot I have to do, but... All the groundwork is in place, and I can just start marching to the end. Let's do this. This is how we roll. Done! 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 Wake up, Canada! Wake up, Canada! Wake up, Jack! Wake up, Canada! It's so nice to actually finally win an HOH. To be here, to be in the house, can't even describe the feeling. This week for me going forward is an easy HOH, because we're putting up Rochelle and Sabrina. We're just going to kick back and relax this week. I even got a picture of my beautiful dog sitting on that gorgeous chest from the brick. John and I have a special bond that no one in the house really sees. If me and you don't go to final two and I don't win 20 or a hundo grand, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Arlie's an extremely smart man, knows what he's doing in this game. So we've decided to start with the Lions. I'm riding right now for the goof troop. When that's over, like, say if something happens, like you leave the house, I'm like, f it, like, just send me to, like, I don't give a f The goof troop is an official alliance that me and Arlie have formed. It's behind Netta's back, but really I'm just covering all bases, making sure that I have a backup plan. You know, if we go final two, they're gonna be like, wow, that's so f***ed up. The Goof Troop. The Goof Troop. What a name. <laughs> I don't want to go to the end with these guys. Mm -hmm. I really want to talk to Rochelle because as soon as the sloppy seconds turn on each other, she can be useful for my game. I think John could still get further with that six, but for me, mm -hmm. I think I would be like, they would get rid of Allison probably first, and that would be me. I need to reel Rochelle in because, one, she's not going to put me up. She's going to want strong players out. And if I ever do end up being on the block, she's not going to vote against me. Interesting. The sloppy seconds are not as stable as I thought. And you, Sabrina, and you, Rochelle, for eviction. Is going home. This week, my HOH is kind of going to be smooth sailing. Everyone's on the same page and what they want done is the two gremlins out. Do I feel like I want to go against the house right now? No, not really. Is the potential for a backdoor there? Yes, obviously. Will I use it? I don't think. Since the beginning of this game, I've seen Arlie for who he truly is and seen how huge of a threat he is. And I just really want John to see, no matter how close he is with Arlie right now, we need to strike first and yeah, get Arlie out thing. before he turns on us. Yeah. I need the entire house to believe that I'm with the Sloppy Seconds Alliance until I can figure out exactly where my place is in this house. I'm still at the bottom. People want to get rid of me. I'm expendable. But good thing I've got that secret power of veto. Hey everyone, it's time to pick players for the power of veto competition! Allison! I've also been tasked with choosing a host for this veto competition. And I choose... <clears throat> hey everybody. I have a special power I'm gonna use. When I became Canada's most buzzworthy house guest, I received the POV player pick pass. And I get to replace one of you guys. And I replace... Allison. Yeah, fingers. I, 
I choose to replace Allison because she is pretty close to Sabrina and Rochelle, so I'm not 100% she won't change the nominees. Ooh. Adele pulling me out of POV, it really shows me that I'm at the bottom of the Sloppy Seconds Alliance, and I really wish I never had to turn. I think it's stupid that you used it. Are you okay? You seem pretty upset. I'm rattled, obviously. And you are so on the bottom, you have no idea. You're a god next, eh? Hope you I, know. I know that. I would just wish you would have stayed on our side because we respect you. Oh. Allison is super angry. And I think she's realizing where she stands in all of this. And this is at the bottom of her alliance. Maybe she shouldn't have screwed us over. That's what I said early. I was like, he's gonna save his ass this week. I have had concerns about Arlie from the beginning of this game. I know he's a super intelligent person and he's a super fan of this game. It also concerns me how close he is with John. And is he gonna take him further than he's going to take me? I want Arlie gone next week. Sorry. I know you would you would rather not. I would rather not. I'm not going to give up on hammering on John to get rid of Arlie. I'm going to keep going at it until John finally gives in and we put Arlie up and hopefully he goes home. Every single person in this game will say, yeah, put him up. So what am I supposed to do? Just sit back on... Well, just, we just have to win. And if we get rid of Arlie, then I think we're good. That is making me realize that when you get a chance to take on a big player in this game, you almost have to take it. It'll be hard to get rid of Arlie, but it's definitely something to think about. After the POV competition, John and I just really want to sit down with the Gremlins and make sure that if we take them off the block, they're going to stay loyal to us. I'm really debating using it. I'm really leaning towards using it. I looking you in the eyes, I would never put you two up. Yeah. And from this moment forward, if we do this, it is a hundred percent never leaving this room. There's people that are gonna want to split you guys. hundred percent. Well, there, there, there's targets that we would have that would be far better if we weren't the ones doing to it. To do it. Exactly. Oh, it's actually really nice. Now that the plan's completely switched and we want Arlie out and we want to keep the gremlins safe, I just want to make sure we talk to Allison and make sure she's on board with this and we'll vote Arlie out. When we had her and John, came up with last night is yeah. we want to work with you to the head. And we're gonna backdoor Arlie. <gasps> okay. I'm pretty shocked that they're gonna backdoor Arlie, and it just proves to me that I really have no idea what any of these people are thinking, and they make plans behind my back all the time. I'm not really a sloppy second after all. I have decided to use the power of veto on Rochelle. That replacement nominee is Arlie. It's a big move. Strictly game, brother. I do think people are feeding you stuff, bud, but... This power of veto ceremony... Actually... I have something... That I would like to use just because this is a perfect moment to use it. I found this secret power of veto. I'm going to use it. On Sabrina. Okay. You have to do it, Mike. Since Allison used her secret power veto, I will need to name replacement nominee. And I choose. Sorry, Deli. So sorry. Big hey, brother, I got bamboozled. What happened? I really, really didn't expect John to try and take me out so soon. This is either going to be a brilliant move or this will lead to John's demise. I literally have no idea what just happened. 
who is this Allison girl? Where did this power come from? Why did she pull off Sabrina? I don't get it. I just tried to make the biggest move in this game, and Allison completely blew it up by hauling Vito out of her butt. Now I'm in jeopardy. Okay, so, so, I was thinking, I wasn't even gonna use it, unless I went up. I need to convince Netta that I'm still on her side and want to work with her, even though I used my secret power of veto. I am still 100% with you guys, and I want to be. Okay. The reason I took Sabrina off is that I think that he was going to talk people into keeping him. Allison's really shady. I don't believe anything that she ever tells me. It was nothing against you. I, I still want Ellie to leave. 100%. I don't want Ellie to leave. The first opportunity I get, I want Allison out of this house. Back into Sabrina's good books, and I want to show Sabrina and Rochelle what a dangerous duo John and Ned are in this game. They are probably going to stick together and take you girls out, I think. Again, I, my predictions aren't that accurate anymore. Arlie is making an amazing case to keep him in the game, but he's also the person who just ruined my game and burnt me. It would be a huge, awesome move to keep me. I'm a f vindictive mother. I want the people who tried to get me. I'm not going to put the people that saved me out when you're not bigger targets. Oh my god, they are f***ing hate us. Because imagine, the two rounds were saved this week, one after another, and then we saved him. There's literally almost no scenario that's bad for you with me staying. As much as I don't want to believe Arlie, what he's saying makes logical sense because me and Sabrina are next on the chopping block. Instead of three on three, it's four on two. If we do this, it get real fast. What's happening? What's happening with you? Nothing. I have a headache from all this game time. Me and Ned are kind of in a pickle right now. Allison's vote is either going to save my game or it's going to completely demolish it. Where's your head, honestly? I have been listening to both sides. Yep. I know I would be an idiot to keep early. I have some power this week in deciding who goes home. It's really my heart versus my head. My heart is with Sabrina and Rochelle, but my head is telling me I can better predict what John is going to do than if I were to keep early. He is still talking to me, and I will still consider it in my mind if it's best for my game. Is it? Probably not, as long as you guys don't it's kind of comfy where I am right now. I don't really want to pick sides. I really don't want to move. We want to work with you, you, and where you want to work. Where your loyalty is going to lie is what's going to help our game. I vote out early, proves to you guys that I'm going to work with you. What can we do for you to ensure that, to let you know and to make you feel comfortable with what we're trying to do? I don't know. Is early going to be good for anyone's game? No. Early will win. Well, I mean, he's already said that his word means nothing to him in this game, so. Yeah. It's funny how he says it and he's trying to give it again. Yeah. I cannot trust Allison at all, but I still need her vote, so I need her to believe in me. From this point on, I want to give my word and I want that to be what it is. If this is something we could do and I can actually trust you guys not to f me over I guarantee I'll not turn my back on you. I will fight for you girls every chance I f get. I would love if he stays, he will 1,000% put me up, and you guys will vote me out. No, I don't think, well, okay, when I'm in the news, I want to say it's a lot, the Legion's going to be. Because after that, I'm doing this on my own, I'm the only solo the rest of this game, and it ensures that he does not get the final two. It ensures that he wants to make a move right now and take you out when everyone else says, no, it's not time to take Serena out. That's what I'm fuck you guys, I'm doing it anyway. Because then as soon as he does it, then everyone's gonna like, well, He's gonna try to go first, and he's gonna try to go with you. Well, I think that's probably a big deal with you. He's gonna put me and you on the block, John. He put me up a Honda. And me a Honda. Yeah, but then again, again, when he does that, then where does his allegiance lie then? Like, yeah, and then who's gonna go home? Me. Over me? Are you fucking kidding me? What are we doing? Okay, let's take this one step at a time. I think we have to go in there and fold it. What the fuck do we do? Get rid of our leaf for us. Are you guys considering that? He's gonna vote me out. I think he's not gonna play a very emotional game. He told me to 
to my face, I'm putting you up next. Against John. Against John. I'm sure of it. Even John's convinced of it. I'm sure this is me just assuming. I know he's gonna put me up. I think he will go after yeah. You can say he being early? Um, if I think of game, yeah. he can put me up. I don't want to keep Arthur because I don't trust him. It's not even a trust thing. This guy, if he stays, what is going to win HOH and no veto, HOH and no veto, and he's going to get to the end and he's going to win it. Block, it's time to find out who is heading home. Let's check in with all the house guests. Whoever you vote out tonight will become the first member of the jury. Early the hitman Shaban. You were like a brother to me in this game on a very personal level. Um, the decision to send you home this week was a complete game move, and I really hope that you understand that. I called it from day one how sketchy you are, but you were useful to me before. You helped me get out a lot of big people, and now that I have absolutely zero use for you, you have to go. Be eliminated. The last house guest standing will be the new head of household. The answer is 298. That means, Netta, you are the new HOH. Congratulations. Netta, please go to the diary room. Netta. Yes? You are being sequestered. There's a blindfold under your seat. Please put it on what? and prepare to leave the diary room. What? 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 What is this? I'm waiting for Netta, looking forward to seeing her face walk out of the diary room. Netta's still missing. Minutes pass, no Netta. We should have kept Arlie. What? Right now, I'm super stressed out. I think I made a mistake by sending Arlie home. If he was here, we probably could have worked with him and we would have had the numbers. I'm feeling pretty down, not really knowing where Netta's head is at, and uh, we're supposed to have a final four. However, I really have no idea how many lies I've been told. Let's talk to Netta now. Let me break some news to you. Okay, tonight is an instant eviction. Okay. Five minutes starts now. Oh my god, oh. I just don't, I don't trust Allison. I, I don't trust her. I made a final four with her and I still don't trust her. And this might be a really good opportunity for her to leave. Uh, I don't know if I should do Allison and Sabrina or Rochelle and Sabrina. Oh my God, can I, can I get like a call or you know, like lifeline here? Oh my God, okay, should I do Allison? Oh God, okay. I made a final four with her, should I stick to that? Who would vote to evict Allison? Okay, I'm not voting. John votes for Allison. Heather votes for, and Heather wouldn't vote for Allison. Adele would vote for Allison. Would Heather vote for Allison? I know they've got a thing going on too, so that might be smart to break that up. If I put up Allison and she leaves, Adele and Heather are still gonna want the gremlins gone this week. They'll still be after them rather than after me. Netta, less than two minutes remain. Okay, okay, okay. Um, oh my God, do I go back on this final four? I mean, my word doesn't mean anything. I've always said that I don't care. I'll give up my word and go back on it. You gotta lock in. You're gonna reveal which two house guests you are nominating for tonight's instant eviction. I'll be back to you in just a minute. Uh -huh. All right, Netta, okay. you can head out to the living room now. Okay, thank you. Netta, please tell us who you are nominating and why. Allison, when it came down to us two in that HOH, I had a strong gut feeling that if you won, I or people I work with in this game would be in a lot of danger this week. However, I have gotten strong and solid proof as to why you cannot be trusted in this game and I need you out of here. Sabrina, the only reason I'm nominating you is because you would be a vote for Allison to stay and I cannot have that happen. I do not want you out of this game. I'm not many you, Sabrina, and you, Allison. Okay. Four house guests are about to vote. By a vote of four nil. Allison, you have been evicted from the Big Brother Canada house. Netta's nomination speech about Allison freaked me out. 
What did she find out about Allison that proves she can't be trusted? I need to tell you something. It's not going to leave this at all. There was no proof. I decided to make something completely up about Allison. I wanted to make it crystal clear in every single person's mind that Allison could not be trusted by anyone as she needed to leave. I just thought, just a few later. Crazy. Hashtag, here we go again. Done. Congratulations, Adele. You are the new HOH. I want HOH. What up? What do you mean? I have to put the two hands on. I have to. But you guys can't pay me. Here, I'll even tell her again. Are you kidding me right now? Adele just won HOH, and the second he sees me, he drops the bomb. The gremlins are going on the block. Roll? Yeah. I'm gonna be straight up so you guys can start counting. He's putting me and you up. Smart enough, bud. You're not in my alliance. You're my nemesis. So stupid. Yeah, you should have kept early 1,000%. And I knew it today. You swear on your Quran, it's a lie? And you swear outside of the spy area that you were you know putting what? up it's John and Anna? It's I a game. It's a game. When you swore on your Quran and when you were putting up John and Anna, it was a lie. When I swore that in my okay. head, I'd say, you know what? God, I'm lying in this game. No so problem. I don't have to say it. So, okay, perfect. Yeah. It's okay. Good luck in the game anyway, but No problem. I don't know how you think like, you have any power in what happens. Like, we don't have any power. You're right, John. I know I'm right. Yeah, perfect. John, Netta, you're not any better than Adele. You're liars yourselves. You told us we had a deal and you broke that too. It's a game, Seth. What do you expect? A brand new rug from the brick. I'm going to buy that rug when I get home and I'm going to put it in my bedroom. I love you. <laughs> Adele, you're so f <laughs> The four of us are hanging in the bedroom debating who should go. Why don't you guys just take off Sabrina? Oh, I know, I know. Obviously, Adele is not on the same page as us right now. I thought we were all thinking clearly that the target this week was going to be Rochelle. She's my nemesis. If she gets me out next week, I will be the... It will not. I will be bitter than all bitter human beings on Earth. Lies in a physical or in Or even mental at this point. As I have nominated you, Sabrina, and I have nominated you, Rochelle, for eviction. I've nominated you, Sabrina, because you've been a thorn in my side since day three. You pinned me against religion. I cannot wait to break up you two gremlins. Sabrina, I do not know what you're doing in this game, and I cannot wait till you take the walk of shame. Oh, my God. Why did I f***? You gave it Oh, my God. So stupid. Whoa, Deli. Pump the brakes a little bit, boss. What was that all about? I think Adele's speech is hilarious, but I look over and the gremlins are pissed. I know down deep inside, Sabrina is not against my religion. My speeches were very much game play. Sorry, Sabrina, you got caught in the crossfire of my strategy. The speech was very uncalled for and I am definitely going to approach him. I just want to tell you that that was really mean because I haven't said one bad word about you this whole game. Mm -hmm. I don't think what you said about me was necessary at all. And I want to know why you said that. Was it just for good TV or? Pretty much. When Rochelle confronted me, she hinted to me it's just for TV. I went with it. My nomination ceremony was kind of harsh, but this is why I'm doing it. My strategy is to piss off every jury member that is leaving. So when it comes down to it, everyone will take me to the final two because they think I have no votes. But then I have a chance to justify myself and explain my game. Wake up, Canada! And I went in and I said, Is there a reason that you were so cruel? Like, what was your reasoning for that? And what did he say? He's like, Honestly, man, I just wanted to make good TV. I'm like, Okay. Well, You're just, just making good TV? Yeah. And just crossing lines. That's good TV. Really? You want f the TV? Does everybody want good TV? Is that what they want? Supposedly. I'm not sure you can TV. I better win. Whoever of us stay, better win. H.O.H. I will send him home before I send out even John. Netta, you are correct. Congratulations, Netta. You have won the power of veto. Along with the veto, today you have also won a special prize. 
a secret strategy session. <laughs> Let's break down. Tell us what's going on in the game so far. Okay, so there's the Gremlins, Rochelle and Sabrina. Mm -hmm. Rochelle's going home this week because she can actually win stuff over Sabs. <laughs> I think once she's gone, who? Sabrina. Well, she, she, she's staying for this week. That's your plan. Yeah. That's what you want to have. Yeah. So let's talk about John for a sec. John is your closest ally, ally in this game, 100%. I've told him pretty much everything in this game. So let's go pros and cons of, of taking John to the end. You may want milk. <laughs> He's had such a flashy game in people's minds, up until this point anyways, that people think that he's made like really big moves and I, I, I'd be scared of him winning. How many think that as long as he's in this game, people are gonna go after him before they come after me? But Khan, you said he could beat you. He could beat me in the end. I do have a final two with John and I have a final two with Heather. And does Heather, you think, is into it? Yes, I think Heather is into it. Would you actually right now take? Heather. Heather? Not to use the power of veto. It sucks being on the block against your best friend. In my gut, I feel like no matter what I say or what arguments I present, I am most likely going to go home. This week, we want to send Rochelle home and compete against Sabrina in the next HOH and veto. We all feel we have a better chance of beating Sabrina in any competition than we do Rochelle. We need to start thinking that we get down to Final Four, what the best route is to do. I agree. Because I keep running through scenarios and I don't know what the best options are. Heather is one of my very good friends in this house. She's someone that I love working in this game with. And I do talk to her a lot about game and I do trust her. I'm more scared for the week after. I trust Netta. I want her and I to go all the way to final two together because I feel like I'd have a really good chance against her. You don't have a chance against me. No, not at all. Not in the competition and not at the end. Yeah, they both do. Deli has a good story with his. He survived this long. Damn. He never even had to use that veto to save himself. And he was like one of the biggest targets this week, too. John has a good story, too, though. Yeah, he does. Like, no one is going to win against him. No. I don't know if I want to go to final two with Heather or with Adele, but I definitely know that I can't go to the end with John. I want John in maybe final three because I know he would take me to the end, but I don't want to be sitting in the final two with John. Okay, so let's get to it. Arlie was the first house guest to go to jury, but Allison was right behind him. Let's see how it went when they were reunited. I didn't miss you. Oh, no! <laughs> it's the worst! Shame. You should have kept me! I know! Oh, oh no! Fight for veto either. It was an instant. Oh! <laughs> they got us! No! John and Nana! They're gonna win! They are Ready. gonna win! They're gonna stop them! Yeah. Right now, I see Heather and Netta making it to the end of this game. I think I'm just going to do red for oh, Devil. They're back. very intelligent, and the end part of Big Brother has a lot to do with mental competition. Sabrina, Rochelle, and Adele won't stand a chance in any mental competition against those three. For a long time, I thought that John was the kingpin and Netta was his puppy. Sit down. I am the queen. That opinion has changed. I think that Netta is the smarts of the operation and John is the brawn. This is what I would have done. <laughs> I think it's really cool being a jury member because you get to have that final say. Your head looks nasty, girl. You've done so well. Mm -hmm. We worked very hard to be here. Very hard. Now... We're sitting and we're gonna be the final five people. Final what? Five, four, yeah. three. There you go. <laughs> and it's with two people that I truly believe I'll be friends with for the rest of my life. Yes, yeah. And I couldn't be happier. I agree 100%, Heather. It means a lot for you to say that as well. <laughs> well maybe it was our best option to actually go to final three with Heather. I don't know. Well, you need to start sitting with Heather one-on-one -on -one and getting a read on her, like, what she wants to do. Well, she tells me she wants to go to that with you, but I just don't believe her. With you? With me and you. But what do you believe she wants to go with Deli and who, as you want us? Just three house guests are about to By a vote of three-nothing, Sabrina... 
you are safe this week. <laughs> Rochelle, I'm sorry you've been evicted from the Big Brother Canada house. Please collect your things and say goodbye. <laughs> I realize in this game that $100,000 means absolutely nothing compared to the friendship we have made. I'm going to go after all these people for you, okay? Being in the final five right now is actually just blowing my mind. This is probably the best feeling I'm ever going to have in my life. My wedding's probably not going to feel this great. This is probably the best I'm ever going to feel. Until I win. It's time to name a new HOH. This competition is called on the ropes. And even more surprised that Heather's doing so well in this competition. Wow, great job, Heather. She played no little cute blah, no, no, no. She comes in here and starts absolutely wrecking it. I am freaking out right now because I don't know where Heather's head is at. I cannot have Heather take out John right now. I need him to stick around for at least another week. He's going to help me with my game. He's going to secure me getting to Final Four. And then it's going to give me the option of taking out John myself, which will be a huge game move in the end. Bingo bango. Woo! Now it really shows that I need to start working on getting Heather out of this house. She did amazing in that HOH competition, and it's really scary for me to take someone who's that good at comps to the end with me. Comps. Yeah, we had too many stupid question comps all season. So oh I just God. won HOH. Me and the Dell, you know, we go out for a little celebratory cigar. Heather just scared the f out of that. Yeah, I'm scared for me too. Oh yeah, of course, me too. The new HOH in town is Big John speaking. I gotta shine the spotlight on someone else besides me in this house. Heather was a beast in the last competition, and she's a very smart girl. I gotta get John to notice this now before it's too late for Adele. She's fake not being strong. No, oh, she's a bull. Bull. Obviously, last HOH made an extremely big move in getting Arlie out of the game. Guarantee ya, I'm not nervous to do it again. I want to take Sabrina further in this game with me because in the end, she's going to be easier to beat in competitions. And Heather, seeing how she performed in this last HOH competition, is not going to be an easy person to beat. There's no need to lie to me. I'm totally fine with this. There's zero need to lie to you. Zero need to lie to you. This is awesome. I still have a chance to maybe win because I could win a POV, I could win the next HOH, and maybe I decide who comes with me to the final three. You've been to look really bad or you don't care. So I look bad that yeah. time, huh? It's just a smart game move. I need to explain It's a game. Thank you, Brick. Thank you, Brick. Thank you, Brick. Oh, I know. So the plan this week was obviously to the last standing gremlin, Sabrina, out of this game. I'm thinking right now that might not be the best move for me going forward, but I obviously need to fly up by Netta and see what she thinks. We want to send Heather home this week and go final three right here. And what's your reasons behind that? Well, did you see f Heather in the whole f competition? This competition was a huge wake-up call for John. He saw how well Heather was performing, and I think that really made him think about her this week. To me, that competition for Heather was, I'm going to show everyone I'm a physical player and win, and then bam, HH don't want to do f all about it. What do you think she would have done if she won this week? I'd say me. I'm not going to lie, I don't know what she would have done. I think uh, she... I would have assumed John as well. I yeah. think she would have made a move. As hard as it would be to send home Heather right now because she's such an amazing friend of mine, it is the best thing for my game. The main thing I'm really trying to do is make John think that he's the one that's trying to convince me that it's best to send home Heather. There's no scenario in this game, no matter how big, how small, that Netta is not going to overanalyze, overthink, come up with every single pro and con she possibly can. One of the reasons why I enjoy working with her. Adele wins veto next week, and he doesn't give a f about sending Sabrina yeah. home. He's going to send me home over Sabrina. I'm using reverse psychology on John right now by bringing up Adele's name. I definitely want Heather to go home this week, but by bringing up Adele's name, it makes me seem like I'm a little iffy on the idea, and John's going to think that it's totally his idea to send Heather home. Yo, I don't know what's happening. Ned has told me that I may be safe this week, but I need to find out the real scoop. So I go to HOH and I speak with John. So tomorrow you're going to go up. Yeah. The first thing you got next to is going to be my target. Oh my God, if it's Adele, I'm going to f***ing jump okay, you. Okay, so... 
I want to tell the person you're up against that they are strictly the pod. Okay. That you are the target. Okay. And as soon as the Rito stays the same, me, Meta, and whoever we're working with wins. It stays the same, and you stay in the house. Really? Yeah. John tells me I'm not the target. Really, John? I thought I was going home. Like, I have a chance to stay and really win Big Brother? I love you, John Party. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I kind of want her to trust me, make her think that me and her can work together a little bit, just in case. Who the real target is, but at this point, I don't care. That means I'm not the target, and that's all I care about right now. Good idea, and she's like... You would have put up John because he's the biggest threat in this house and you can't win against him in final two. No one can win against him. And she's like, nobody likes Adele. You can always take Adele. And I'm like, do you even know what's going on right now? Heather had a conversation with Sabrina that's put doubt in her mind. And I need to calm down Heather's nerves, even though she is in danger this week. Yeah. I have nominated you, Sabrina. And you, Heather, for eviction. Hey, game. I may be dressed like a baby, but I wasn't born yesterday. Everything that I've been pushing John to do is finally coming together. The plan is working, and no one's going to be able to stop me now. How dare my best friend in this house put me on the block and use me as a pawn without even letting me know beforehand. <laughs> I was so close to winning HOH. I've just put up Sabrina and Heather for eviction. I told Heather she's my pawn, but she's actually my target. Because I love Heather to death, I want to see her go home this week for sure, because I want to keep Sabrina and Adele in the game. Those two people are my ideal final three because they're never going to take each other to the end. And I think I stand a much stronger chance of beating them than I do Heather or John. My main plan for the season finale is myself and Big John hand in hand, waking up Canada. Even though I actually am targeting Heather this week, I'm still annoyed with how she reacted because she does not know that she is a target this week. She thinks she's a pawn, and she's doing this temper tantrum based on her being a pawn. Not her being a target, her being a pawn. I'm going to see Heather right now because if she leaves this week, I really want to secure her jury vote. John can call me a pawn all he wants, but I know that there's something strange about the reason he put me up over Netta or Adele. I'm not sure what to believe right now. She's like, I don't get why he didn't just give me some sort of warning beforehand. Like After speaking with Heather, I go and tell John how upset this girl really is, and I just want to stress to him how important it is for either him or I to win this veto. Win veto, that's it. Just don't let her win. Or you win veto, or Kelly win veto. Yeah. Or Sabs win. No. Actually, it might be better if Sabs wins. Yeah, Kelly goes home. You would send Dally home over Heather? No, okay. That might be an easier... Why are you thinking of giving Heather home? I'm not. I'm thinking that it might be a better way to actually go about sending her home. She would be less bitter if she went home next to Dally than next to Sabrina. If Heather goes home next to Sabrina, that's a complete betrayal. But if she goes home next to Adele, then we're just picking from our final four deal anyway, so she won't be as upset about it. So maybe letting Sabrina win this POV isn't such a bad thing. I just wish that I had known before. The reason it took so long is I was in the DR debating who to put up, whether it be Delhi or whether it be one of you two. I'm basically telling a few white lies to Heather's face right now. I knew she was going to be the target way before the nomination ceremony. Adele knew it. Netta knew it. I can't tell her that. If I throw Adele up again, he's obviously going to know that he's not in this thing. He may win HOH next week completely just blow up. If I put Netta up, it would kind of be 100% in her mind that, okay, well, John's a bullshit me the whole time. You didn't think that way about me? I didn't think you'd second guess it. But obviously you are, so maybe that's a mistake that I made. I'm sorry. At the end of John and I's conversation, I feel as though I understand his point of views and why he did it. Thank you, John. You're very welcome, sweetie. But the trust I had for him is not as strong as it was before. of the power veto competition with a time of eight minutes and 40 seconds is Heather.
Congratulations, Heather. You have won the power of veto. Am I happy for Heather? Nope. Would I rather she stay on the block and went home? Yup. Bill would take us to final three. If you think Sabrina would, then I don't think she would. You don't think she would? She wouldn't take me. Why would you take me? That makes no sense. I, we just have to sit down and think who's the better option to go to home, Sabrina or Adele? Yeah. I really do think that Adele is better for John's game because Adele is planning on taking John to final two. But Sabrina's better for my game because Sabrina would kick John out of this house before she would kick me out. Okay, well, let's think about it. Yeah. Key to this game, bro, is numbers. Neda has it in the bank if I go up on the block. Mm -hmm. She has Heather and Sabrina right where she wants them. Yeah. She thinks she has you right where she wants you too. So she has everybody where she wants them. Yeah. I gotta get through John's thick skull and let him know Neda has this game on lockdown. If he doesn't open his eyes, I'm gonna go on the block because he trusts her so much. They're gonna send me home and then he'll be following me right after because he can't play in the next big OH. Me and Neda have a final two. And I'm really not sure if I'm willing to break that right now. I have decided to use the power of veto on myself. Choose you, Deli. To the point in the game now where I'm just running out of people put off there as pawns and obviously my good bunny, it's not an easy thing to do, but no hard feelings. John explained to me in the ceremony that I'm just a pawn. This stage of the game, there's no more pawns. It's you go up, you go home. I'm a bigger threat, so most likely I'm going home. But I cannot show weakness. I gotta keep my smile on my face. And you know what? This sucks. Feline and those nine lines that everyone says I have, I'm gonna prove that I do have them. I'm not leaving this week, and I'm not leaving next week either. I'm here to campaign. <laughs> what? So I'm here to campaign. Go next. He's after me. I cannot fix any of the damage that he will bring at the end. He is going to bash all of you. He made it very clear. So we should send him first, you after the damage control after he's done. Exactly. I can go back there and be like, I've been there for a week, guys. I'm telling you, don't listen to him. This is what happened. This is really what happened. And they will listen to me. Right now. She's nuts. I agree with that. She says so. Sabrina's damage control argument might make a little bit of sense, but the funny thing is, it's not even the best reason for keeping her around. I have better ideas. I feel much more comfortable watching an HOH where you two are competing against Sabrina as opposed to you two competing against the bill. There's a far less chance of Sabrina winning. Unless it's a comp that's tailor-made for her. You can't make a comp out that's tailor-made for Sabrina. I want to tell you that. We were all given the opportunity to have two minutes with a loved one, but there are certain sacrifices that each of us had to make in order to allow that to happen. Yes, 100%. How long is 24 hours? When, uh, with Havoc, no chance of winning against Nana. Nana? You won't. Why not? Because Arlie, Allison, and what's his name? Uh, Rochelle, 100% are voting for Nana. And if I leave, I don't want to lie to you, I don't know what I would do. Why, though? Because I'm telling you that I will take you, and you didn't take me, and you didn't trust me. And I'm telling you, you wouldn't win, and you didn't want to take my advice. Sabrina talks to me as if I need to be told what to do. It's kind of like a mom telling a, a child what the best decision is, and then telling the child that it's your own choice. It's Netta that bringing me to final two is also her bad move. If you would take me to final two, you would be blown away by my speech. What do you mean? I literally would say, she deserves $100,000. I would say that, because I understand the game. Listening to Sabrina campaign is actually very painful. She campaigns the exact same way to everyone. Literally, word for word, uses the same speech. My entire life, I have one dream. And it was really one dream only, and that was to play hockey. When I couldn't play hockey anymore due to injuries and whatnot, 
it was a hard time for me because it's all I planned on doing my entire life. Hockey showed me that whatever you're going to do in life, give it 100%. Because when the opportunity's over, sometimes you're never going to get it again. After being cooped up for 24 hours and really having nothing else to do besides think, I really think it's in my best interest to keep Adele. I would never forgive myself if I put my trust in Sabrina and ended up getting stabbed in the back. John, your 24 hours of solitary confinement is over. Oh, oh my God! Oh, yay! <laughs> I just want to see everything. Oh but Della's gonna get rid of me. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. I can convince Deli 100% that this will be the final three. I just don't trust Deli. Of course he should keep Adele around. That's better for John's game. Adele will take John to the end with him. But for my game, it's better to keep Sabrina. I'm just thinking if Heather wins HOH, we're going home. One of us, probably me. Canada, you are the seventh jury member this year. That means you have a vote during next week's finale. Welcome back to the clothing optional jury house. For you, maybe. Oh my god, no! Oh, no! Aren't you happy to see me? No. Oh, baby. This nomination ceremony is complete. And you're an idiot because you put up the gremlins instead of John, John and Netta. John's like, oh, so concerned. Thank you for doing our dirty work for us. <laughs> Thank you, little puppet dance, puppet dance. I think it will come back to bite him hard. Okay, okay it's time for the vote. By a vote of two nothing. Adele, I'm sorry you've been evicted from the Big Brother Canada house. What is your prediction? Who is going to win this whole shebang? The whole shebang is going to be, I'm pretty sure, Big John, if he keeps winning till the very end. Newfoundland, wake up, Newfoundland! Netta, you're incorrect. Oh, man. Who would have figured Sabrina would be doing so well in this HOH? This is a disaster. This is exactly why I did not want Adele to leave this week. 4,460, Sabrina, you are the new HOH. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I'm an HOH! This means you made a really good decision this week. Delhi really would have done well in that competition and probably would have won. Kidding me? Delhi, he would have been drawn. Delhi wouldn't have been able to turn the board, I don't think, to either before or after. He wouldn't have been able to compete. What are we doing with Delhi out of the game right now? Ah, oh, you're welcome, Sabrina. Here's your HOH. Holy. Oh my god, that's yeah. right! Hurry, yeah. hey, run as fast as you can. Yeah. What have we done? I am exaggerating being upset at Sabrina's win right now. I have to play it up because I had a supposed final three with Heather and John, and now that Sabrina's won, that can't really happen. It's not really so bad for my game, though, Sabrina winning, but I just need to play up the fact that I'm so upset that she won, just so John and Heather don't seem fishy with me. God pillow goes perfectly with Sabrina's personality because that's all she says. Oh my god, 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 this is Luca! Oh my god, shut up. God, this blood table is so nice. It's right next to my bed. I have nominated you, John, and you, Heather, for eviction. John? I have nominated you because you are clearly the biggest social and physical threat in this game. Heather, I nominated you for eviction because there are only three people left and we're at the point in the game that it is what it is. Win the POV and get yourself off the block. This nomination ceremony is complete. <laughs> if I had to pick a week to go on the block, it would definitely be this one. Because ultimately, all the power lies in the veto. That was a hard decision. They're all great players, but John's my target. He is the biggest physical threat in the whole house. I love you, John, but bye. I love you, but you gotta go. Just four house guests are still standing, and they have no idea that one more will be evicted tonight. Urgently. <laughs> Being on the block for the first time is definitely a weird feeling. All I had to do was win this power veto and take myself off. 
seeing John on the block really sucks because I want to make sure both of us get to that final three. Winning POV this week is so important because it's the only way to guarantee that neither of us go home. I'm on the block, but I have a final two deal with John, I have a final two deal with Zeta, and I have a final two deal with Sabrina. I need to cover all of my bases in case anything goes wrong or in case I don't win this POV. Just worried. As long as you're going to stay true to what you're saying, I'm going to stay true to what I'm saying, we're fine. Even though I have a final two deal with John, I don't trust anybody in this game. If I don't win it, I could be screwed. So, like, what happens if Sabrina wins? Like, what happens if Netta wins? We're f My final two deal with Heather is kind of fake. Unless she wins the veto, takes me, hey, final two deal back on. Are you definitely going to take me if you win? 100? Hundo. Good. Hundo, Heather? You can't just throw out a hondo like that. A hondo means business, and it is a hondo percent. I love you, Hedo. When I'm saying hondo, I am actually 50-50, because I still haven't made up my mind. But that 50% is hondo, for sure. Just saying, yeah. I love you, John, but how great. This would be insane. The three girls who were not even thought of from the beginning of this game. Nope. An all-girls alliance interests me not at all. I know that if I go to the end with Heather and Sabrina, they're going to choose each other over myself to go to final two. <laughs> Congratulations, John. You won the power of Vito. Oh, my God. Oh! Wake up, Tana. Wake up. Your boy's going final three! I really want to win this POV, but now that John's won, I'm realizing that this might be for the best. Because this way, I don't have to make the difficult choice of sending Heather home. I want to tell her. We're in a good moment. I just gotta tell her, like, listen, John's been mean that the entire time. It's better to tell her, obviously. I am probably sitting in the best position in this house right now because no matter what, Sabrina and John are both going to take me to that final two. Oh, I, really... I decide to talk to Heather and let her know that she's going home this week because really, she's my friend, but she's also going to be a jury member. It would make no sense for me to blindside Heather or lie to her face because she'll go in the jury and that's one less vote that I'll have if I'm standing final two. Hello, lady. Hey. Um, so I just have a question. Yeah. Was our final two not real? It was just as real as mine and Netta's. But looking at it right now, I think it's best for my game to be compete against in the final three against Netta and Sabrina. It's the hardest thing to find out that my game is ending and my dream is ending. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm heartbroken, but all that's coming down to it is I feel more comfortable competing against them two and me being the one who decides who comes final two with me. Okay. I am so sad that John of all people was the one to end my game in this house. Rest of my life. Come here. I'm so sorry, baby. <laughs> home tonight. Let's get to our house guests. Sir, uh, I've decided to use the power of veto. So sorry, Heather. I had to make a decision that's best for my game, and keeping these two girls here is what's best for me. So sorry. Love you. Heather. Uh, of course, I want to know your predictions now. Who do you think has the best shot of winning this whole game? Jonathan. He's very strong. I think that Canada will love him or does love him. And I know that all the other house guests loved him as well. He's played a strong game. He was never even considered to go on the block. And that's huge. Yeah. Crazy. Viewers at home will have a vote in tomorrow's finale. Tomorrow! All of Big Brother's secrets have been revealed except for one. Who will be the winner?
But before we find out who wins it all, we need to know who the next head of household is. This is the biggest one of the season, and it'll be done in three parts. The winner of the first and the winner of the second will go head to head in the final part of the competition. And the winner of that will be named HOH and choose who they want to take to the final two. Let's see how it all got started. This is the house right here. I really love the idea of this whole fairy tale scenario with me and Netta standing together at the end. As good as that fairy tale ending sounds, I want to have the best chance of winning that hundred grand. Is staying next to Netta my best chance? I don't know. It just feels like I'm facing another uphill battle. Sabs, absolutely amazing. <laughs> Thank you. They have each other, and I literally just have myself. <laughs> I wouldn't mind standing there with you, Sabs, right? What? So I wouldn't mind standing there with you. And don't count yourself out yet of being taken. John tells me I'd be happy to stand final two with you. When you go down to that final two, you're standing there, you're gonna take the person who you think you're gonna have the best chance of winning against. There's just no point in lying to me at this point. No, I wouldn't lie to you. Please, but I, like I'm, I... Not, I'm not telling you it's going to happen. I'm just saying I know. I'm uh, options I know. open. I'm just saying. Yeah, okay? I know. Options I have open. a hard to. I know. Options open. Okay. okay. If John's not lying to me right now, this can change my whole game. Do I see the sun coming out? Oh my god, you look so like. What's wrong? I'll make you a deal. You what? I'll make you a deal. You'll make me a deal? How do I know that you didn't just have this discussion with her and you're coming here to fool me? Why would I ever tell her I'd make a final two with you right now? I'm offering Sabrina a deal right now. I don't play in the second part of this final HOH challenge. And there is a good chance that Sabrina could win and standing next to me in the final and last of the HOH challenges. So I really need to cover my bases just in case this happens. If you win this guy, both of us are standing there. It's a guaranteed final two for both of us. These people have been screwing with me since the beginning. They tell me something, and then two seconds later, when it works out in their favor, they're like, oh, sorry, I was lying to you. But you have to swear. I swear to you, because I have to swear, you have to swear at this game. You can mess that up at all. If she gets there, she's a guaranteed win over both of us. First of all, she probably will win over you. Yeah, I know. Okay. I pretty much swear to Sabrina on everything in my life, up and down everything. It's not a proud moment for me in this game, but something I have to do to put in her mind that, okay, like this John, like these honest eyes John, swearing on everything, he must mean it. Congratulations, you have won part two, and we'll move on to battle me in part three of the HOH competition. <laughs> Oh my god, I was so. We just, we just stopped. Listen, stop me. I know. Look, wait, we just played this entire game together. Yeah. And now we're going final two. That's so cool. <laughs> One more competition in this game, and I can take myself to final two, and I can take who I want with me to that final two position. Yeah, it's promise you're not gonna fuck you. It's promise. Oh my goodness. So let's head up to the jury house where a special guest was trying to get some insider information. Hey guys, what's going on? Heather, welcome to the jury house. Thank you. What happened? Fill us in. We had like a head to head with Netta, me, and Sabrina. And Sabrina won. <gasps> I'm dying. And then John won Vito. Yeah, exactly. And kept Netta. And here I am. So did John go up on the block? John was on the block. Okay, at least he went up himself. He was able to manipulate really well. Who did John manipulate? Oh, me. He seems so genuine. And when he's talking to you, you just, even though you he's know convincing. you can't trust him and you don't and you shouldn't. 
after two hour conversation, you're like, yeah, this kid's awesome. I'm gonna listen to everything he says. All right, so let's talk about Netta. Who has any strong opinions about Netta? I don't want Netta to win. I don't want her to win either. What do you guys feel like Netta brought to the table in this game? Netta has played a huge game. A lot of the moves that she made and made John make have been thought out over and over and over again for weeks. Her game is very strategic, and I like that. I was her biggest threat, and she snipped me before I had a chance to do anything. And it was brilliant. She killed the first, middle, and end of this game. That's right. She walked through this whole game with a big old John shield right in front of her. Yeah. Neda is the Dan of Big Brother Canada. It's <laughs> that <laughs> Rochelle, yes. you were friends with Sabrina in the house, yes. right? What do you think Sabrina's best move was in this game? I'm going to be honest, I didn't think she was going to win any HOHs, so I'm so proud of her that she won. You are correct. Congratulations, John. You are the final HOH of the season. And we need to know who you are evicting right now. Uh, guys, what a ride it's been. Um, Neda. I'm growing to love you more and more as a sister every single day in this house. Um, it's amazing we had to play this entire game together right up until the finale night. Um, I have to vote out someone tonight, and unfortunately, I choose to evict Netta. Thank you, John. friend, your ally through this whole game, just cut you. Yeah, touche. I was planning on doing the same thing to him. I'm really, really shocked, though. I, 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 man, I planned this game like 30 steps in advance, and I did not see this coming. Oh, my God. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Careful. Please, have a seat. Have a seat. Let's introduce you to the final member wow. of the jury. Come on out. Come on out! It's your turn. Now that you look great! <laughs> <laughs> So, Jonathan, <laughs> other than evicting me, what moves did you make that were solely your own decision Ooh. and not mine? Ooh. Ah! I evicted Arlie, Heather, Adele, and you. So, four moves. Ooh. Those were solely your own decisions? 100%. Okay. Um, it's just got a little bit frosty up in here. I left my heart at the door and made some really hard decisions this game. There was not one moment in this game where I did not play the game. I didn't take a minute off the entire time. I had was me and my beautiful Rochelle. I had her back, she had mine. I was put up on the block six times following that, managing to use my persuasion and my strategy to keep myself safe. At the same time, Rochelle had to leave, and that's when I was down to a one-woman alliance, and I only had myself and the whole entire house, against the whole entire house. My whole entire game was exposed to the whole house, and I needed to pick up all those pieces and still find a way to get myself to where I am right now. I'm up against an amazing player, but guys, vote whoever you think deserves this game. I love you guys, thank you, and you all are beautiful. <laughs> Thanks first, so let's get to it. Canada has voted. John. Allison has voted for John. John. Rochelle has voted. Sabrina. I love you, Rochelle. That's two, one, and four is the magic number. I love you, Rochelle. Heather is next. 
Heather has voted hey! for John. That is 3-1. One. one more vote, and John wins. Netta's next. Oh, God. Netta has voted for John. Oh my God, I might win this whole thing. Well, I beat that little goofball net on the, the little free final two cup. Five TE. <laughs>